Now that we've calibrated the bender to produce a 90 degree bend in two inch pipe, let's locate that bend accurately. In this case, we will make a bend from the end of the pipe to the 30 inches to the center line of the bend. So we measure from the end of the pipe, 30 inches, and make a mark. That will be the center line of the bend. Now we've made our mark 30 inches from the end of the pipe, so let's locate that mark where it needs to be in the machine in order to feed the bend. Place the pipe in the die, and we line the 30 inch mark up with the outside edge of the die. Now this tool is designed to produce 3D bends. That's where the center line radius of the bend equals three times the nominal pipe size. So we have two inch pipe, which is a six inch center line radius. This die has a quarter inch lip on it, so we know the distance from the edge of the die to the center of the bend is six and a quarter inches. And we want to get the die is open up to accept the pipe now. We'll place the hole back clip. Sometimes when you're lining the holdback clip up so the pin can go in, it's easy if you cock the pipe a little bit at an angle. Once again, make sure that the pin goes all the way down to the bottom plate, otherwise it'll be damaged during the bending process. Now we can lock the pipe in place, and let's check our measurement and make sure we still have six and a quarter inches. We do. So we're ready to make a 90 degree bend 30 inches from the end of the pipe. Now we're ready to make a 90 degree bend. Now we've calibrated the bender for a 90 degree bend and we have the limit switch preset so we can let the machine run out to the 90 degree setting and come back and stop. We'll place the shoe up against the pipe again. Once again, making sure that your hand is nowhere near this pinch spot. Hold it out on this end. Place it up to but not touching the hold back clip at the tangent point. Hit the forward button. On the return cycle, the shoe falls free and just slide it out and put it on the table. The arm returns to home base and stops and we're ready to remove the pipe. The hold back clip pin comes out. We slide the hold back clip out and remove the pipe. Now let's check and see if we have 30 inches into center on this part. 30 inches into center, we have a good located part. Now let's make another bend a certain distance from this bend.